Hello guys, this is Mauro from Printfotech.com. In this video, I just want to show you the steps you need to follow to create a virtual machine for your Windows 10 technical preview using the VMware Workstation. Uh, so the first thing you have to do is to download and install the, uh, the software. This is a paid software, but it has a trial that you can use it for a short period of time. That there will be enough to test and see what's new in the operating system. And it's a good solution, so you don't have to mess or change anything on your current system. The first thing you have to do, like I said, is uh, install the uh, the software and 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 then open it. And then just go to File, New Virtual Machine, just Typical option. Find the uh, 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 ISO file that you downloaded from the uh, from the uh, technical. Uh, from the Windows Insider program and in my case I'm just going to install the uh, technical preview x86 and click next for the uh, guest operating system choose Microsoft Windows and the version Windows 8 and if you're using the 64-bit uh, use the uh, option for Windows 8 x64 I'm just using 32 bits, so this one will do the. Uh, these are the options that I have to use. Click next. Uh, name the virtual machine, and I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, I'm just going to type Win 10 Technical Preview Virtual Machine 01. I'm gonna click next. I'm gonna give him. 10 gigabytes of storage, which should be enough to uh, to install and test your operating system, but it's not a lot of room to install uh, other software. So you you need to see how much uh, storage you want to uh, allocate for the uh, for this virtual machine. Once you do that, click next, and then instead of uh, clicking finish, uh, choose uh, click the uh, custom my hardware. Choose how, uh, select how much memory do you, uh, you want to allocate for for this uh, operating system. I'm going to choose two gigabytes of storage. I'm just going to leave it one processor. I'm going to remove the printer, and I'm just going to close it. And now I'm going to click finish. And now we have a new VM created. Then we just power it on. Windows is going to load the, uh, the setup. Okay, we have the uh, familiar Windows installation uh, wizard. Click next. Install now. Now I'm going to accept the, uh, the licensing ag agreement. So I can click next. Choose uh, custom, uh, custom installation. We only have one drive, so we just click Next. And now Windows is going to get installed. So I'm going to pause this uh, video and I'm going to come back when the uh, when installation completes and the uh, setup is ready. All right, so the uh, installation is almost completed. So now we need to um, uh, uh, go through the uh, settings. So the configuration settings. So we just uh, in in this case, we're just going to use the Express settings. And I am going to put my credentials to uh, sign in with a Microsoft account. You will need to use your Microsoft account if you like to use the uh, uh, Windows Feedback app. So you can send your feedbacks, uh, feedbacks and suggestions uh, to Microsoft to improve the operating system. I recommend you to, to do that. So I'm going to uh, log in with my credentials. Then just click Next. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to click I can do this right now. And I'm just going to click next. 
next. Now that's all you have to do. Uh, I'm just uh, gonna let the uh, the final setup uh, going through its process, and I'm gonna come back to show you the last step you have to do to finish configuring the uh, uh, the virtual machine using VMware. All right, so the uh, installation has uh, has completed. So now the last thing you have to do is install the um, uh, VMware Workstation um, uh, uh, utility tools. Actually, the VMware tools. That's that's how uh, that's how it's called. And what you need to do to do that, it's uh, going to VM from the menu. Click Install VMware Tools. And you'll see the drive change here. So we're just going to click Setup. Because I'm using this 32-bit, uh, so I'm just going to use the uh, setup.exe, no setup uh, 64. Just going to click that. And click Yes. And then just go through the uh, typical installation process. All right, so the installation of the uh, VMware tools uh, has completed. So I'm going to click Next, and it's going to ask me to uh, uh, to choose the um, the, uh, insta uh, the, insta uh, the installation um, options. So I'm just going to click Typical, Install. All right, so now I'm going to click Finish, and now it's uh, officially installed. The um, the VMware tools. So I'm just gonna click finish, and it's gonna ask me to restart the uh, uh, the computers, the computer. So I'm just gonna click yes, and then it's just going to restart, and that's all you have to do. So uh, thank you for for watching, and I hope this video was informative for you.